It's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Looking for something? Sort of. I know this looks bad, but it's not like... It's not like what? I'm just here to talk to Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. Well, I don't think he's up to the job, so... You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard? Can you hear me? Does he look like he can hear you? <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! <sighs> wow, that guy is really out of it. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Well, these could come in handy. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Here we go. Just pills. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you.
think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Even Ava would have to admit, I was a good mom to AJ. Who's there? All right, all right. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. You have to give AJ back, please. He needs me. I need him. That's just not gonna happen, Clem. Look, it's not much, but... Here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... This... Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. You may have needed one, but I don't. Everybody needs one sooner or later. They're the only good things we have these days. From the first time we met right here, surrounded by absolute hell. You and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. 
Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. Nice work. Thanks. Just glad I could help. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. Any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. It's none of your business. There's... there's no need for that tone. I look like someone who... who gives a shit what you're up to. Frankly, I've had enough of backstabbing to last me a lifetime. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. Clem is AJ's family. No kid is better off when you break their family apart. Maybe you're right. Maybe AJ should be with Clem. All I know is that he's better than he was when he got here. No thanks to you or David. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close.
I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <clears throat> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ. Just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. You're back! And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. She's... Oh yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. Conrad? Nah, I'm, I'm cool. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? Can't say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. Clearly, it's taken a toll on him. You might want to try sympathizing with the guy, instead of trashing him. You're right. I'm sorry. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think, fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. We have to help my dad. We can't just cut and run, not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan? Our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. We light the match. The people do the rest. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. 
We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. Oh, I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Not that I don't appreciate the can-do attitude, but I don't know if you're invited, little man. I think I agree with Trip. Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. No way anybody is dying. Not today. That's why we have to take the time to talk it through. So everybody comes out okay. Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Before you all make any decisions about who's coming and who's staying and who's gonna do what, I just wanted to say, I'm sitting this one out. What are you talking about, Conrad? I'm sorry about David. I am. I just don't particularly care what happens to the folks here in Richmond. It's not my community. Not my problem. I got what I came here for. All right. I get it. You came with us far enough. I see what you're doing, but I just can't take the risk. I'm going to get some things together and find some place to wait out the herd. I'll attract less attention if I'm by myself. Conrad. Man. Hey, no goodbyes. I'll see you on the other side, brother. I'll see you. Okay, so you want to dive bomb Joan and save the day. Do we have to leave? This place is comfortable. Hell yeah, we're out of here. A handful of people against everyone out there. Everything out there. We can do this. I know we can. We've got the guns, we've got a plan, and soon we're gonna have that truck. So let's get started. Hell, I'm still in. I promised David I'd always have his back. Let's do it. Without Conrad, you guys need me, and you know it. Sure as hell seems that way. Me, Clem, Kate, and Gabe will go after the car. Me and Eleanor, we'll get some supplies together. Here, take a walkie. I'll let everyone know when things kick off. Ava, you take the other one and keep checking in, no matter what. I'll get my stuff and meet you at the square. Okay, let's move out. You come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. Let's go. I think 
think I should go with you, actually. That wasn't the plan, Gabe. Actually, I was kind of hoping you'd be willing to watch my back on this one. Don't want to get surprised while I'm out there. Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. This thing looks like it moves too slow for an escape. What's going on? Thanks. For what? Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. Yeah, we all are. I'm just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. There it is. Let's go. What are the chances? I'd say about 50-50. Smart ass. We've got company. Hell yeah. This graveyard shift is killing me. Oh, let me get some that. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Turns out you needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. Just push the damn truck. All right? What do you think I'm doing? I'm doing all the work. You're the one trying to have a conversation here. That's more like it. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. 
Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? Almost there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. Wire cutters should help with this. Gotta connect the battery to the ignition. Don't get electrocuted. Don't get electrocuted. Let there be light. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? Well, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really Where takes you back, doesn't that? it? That Just you and me and Gabe no, and Mari. Kind of You're right. This is nice. Like if I just close my life. eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not 
everything that happened after. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He light likes her. You get it? Well, okay, I sort of am. I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Ah, uh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet, but to feel something that intensely for another person. Hey, the falling in love is the easy part. It's the staying in love part that'll really mess you up. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. <sighs> I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. Now, you did the best you could, Kate. You kept this family alive as long as you possibly could. It counts for a lot. I hope you know, Javi, having you there with me, right by my side, all this time, that's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. But you didn't. Honestly, I'm not that sure of anything right now. I'm just trying to do the right thing here. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And there are always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. <laughs> but before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know, whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So are we gonna... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. I hope he can handle it. I know he's good under pressure, but this is different. Yeah. Here's hoping he doesn't completely flip out. Considering we're about to save his life, maybe he'll cut us a break. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. We gotta get over there. Now. I'm going to hang back here, with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Good luck. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into.
Like, is the whole plan shot, or did she just have a little setback? Ava could be having problems with the walkie-talkie. Maybe it's out of range, or ran out of batteries or something. Maybe. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? We just have to remember, not everyone in Richmond is a bad person. You're right. We're not trying to hurt anyone out there. At least, not anyone who's on our side. 